Hey guys, Fox here. Another truck video coming for you. Uh, today I'm gonna be installing a new accessory and that's gonna be the Raptor style grill. Got it over here. I had to put these uh, tabs on first, which are held down by, uh, sorry, these little screws there. You had to put some right here as well and two up front. On the top, uh, the other thing that I paid extra for were the um, the three lights that go through the grill, and that's what this wiring harness is for. You can see the lights right there. Um, uh, here's the front of it. Had to uh, screw in these letters as well, but I think it's going to look pretty good. There you can see the three individual lights, and I'll show you later where. Those end up plugging in and all that. Uh, but I figured I'd just go through the process here and I'll just make a bunch of cuts when I need to so this isn't long when I'm struggling pulling out <laughs> different parts and everything. Um, but the uh, first thing you have to do is remove this uh, shielding here um, and it has these pop-up little, um, whatever they're called, little clasps type things there. There's four of those, five actually. And you have some uh, T30 Torx bit right here that hold the uh, air intake for the turbo right there. So I'm gonna pull those out and undo these and struggle to pull this thing off, which shouldn't be too bad. I heard the hardest part is actually just getting the grill off because there's some uh, hooks, little clasp hooks at the bottom of the grill are hard to get to so all right okay guys i just wanted to show you what these look like here um, when you pop them out of these little holes here um, so the top part pops right up and then it's easier to just pull the whole thing out if you haven't worked with these um, and i just use the little body tool that i have you can buy these super cheap on amazon or whatever so you pry it with this end and then you can uh, pull it up the rest of the way with this and it makes it pretty easy a little easier than using a uh, uh, flathead screwdriver just so you get your track so guys I got the shroud plastic cover off of here uh, but the front part has these little clasps right here that kind of hold it in place in the front under these little grooves there be careful because um, some they get a little stuck they can as you can see I'm missing one here that's because I uh, uh, snapped off. <laughs> so be forewarned of that. Um, mine will be fine because there's plenty of other ones to hold in place, but I uh, just wanted to mention that too. All right, guys, after that, after you get the shroud off, we're going to take off this plastic shroud protecting the hood latch. Um, this is an eight millimeter, which I'm using a little socket for, and it's got another one of those uh, pop-up little clasp doohickeys that you can take off with the uh, the body tool or a flathead. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off next. All right, after you get that uh, the hood latch shroud uh, protector off of here, you're gonna wanna remove this additional shroud <laughs> uh, out of here. And uh, there's four uh, Torx head screws in here. You can see one down there. There's gonna be one right there. And then come over here. Same thing on all corners. And then you're gonna need um, that 10 millimeter again to remove this one. And this one holding the top of the grill in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and take this shroud out. All right guys, ran into a small issue with removing these 10 millimeter screws right here on the top of the grill to pull it back so you get the shroud out. Um, there's Loctite, isn't that nice? usually don't see Loctite used when you're securing something that's full of plastic because it can easily break. Like I did over here, not knowing there was Loctite in there. So I completely snapped it. Wonderful, huh? So I'll be doing probably a rudimentary job of trying to get that together and loosely getting it on there, hopefully with the right glue and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove this Loctite here as best as I can and get this off.
All right, guys, after some work with some nail polish remover and some Q-tips to loosen up the Loctite, I was able to slowly unscrew it without uh, destroying the assembly like I did over there. I really wish I would have saw that before I did it, but uh, I'll cowboy this stuff and I'll get it to work and I'll try to fix that as much as I can. But yeah, I was successful in getting this one off. <laughs> now I can continue. All right, now that I have that shroud out, which took a little bit of finagling to uh, slide it out, I had to slide it down first and then kind of pry it a little bit out of from these corners because it was catch right here on this uh, this mount here and on same on the other side. So I just wiggled it and finagled with it and got it out of there. Um, so next is taking the grill out, which there are clips down here, five of them, I believe. So uh, that's one. So they look like this right here. So there's one, there's two, three, four, or maybe there's only four. And then there's some side ones on the side of the grill, which I might are kind of hard to see. There's somewhere down there. Um, so I hear this is the biggest pain in the butt part to get this off of here. So I'm gonna probably be effing with this for quite a few minutes until I get it off. All right guys, after about 20 minutes of uh, finagling and getting that grill off, I was able to get it off. It's honestly a pretty big pain in the ass, but um, I've seen people have a better time at it than me. Um, I hope I wasn't the one that bent all these right here. <laughs> it might have been me, <laughs> uh, but it should be fine. Anyway, so this is where they attach right here. As you can see, there's that little uh, tab right there, but it's deep in there. So it's kind of hard to get a tool in there to push that down and get it through. Um, hopefully you have a real, like a short stubby flathead to do it. I didn't have one but I used a, a, a small uh, body prying tool and it worked in the end. But I would suggest having a very short uh, flathead. And on the side here, that's where the side tab is. Same on that side. All right, now I'm gonna get the grill ready to just push in place. That'll be much easier. And then I will route the uh, lighting harness. And I'll show you where that goes. All right, guys, I pushed the grill in very easily <laughs> and uh, it's just snapped in very well. It looks like it fits pretty well. I don't see any issues just yet. And uh, what I'm doing here is here's the lighting harness. Um, I'm gonna zip tie this up, attach it somewhere so it's not all just willy nilly, uh, but I took it down here and routed it down into the fender, close to the fender. And I hooked it up to this uh, parking light sensor right here. I just peeled back this, this, this carpet stuff right here, pulled it back, pulled out the harness. It came with an adapter and you plug that wiring harness from the grill into the adapter and then plug the power for the light into the adapter and then the adapter to this. Pretty easy. I just put it back in there, shove the carpet back up. Um, and now I'm going to clean this up and put the shrouds back in. I did a jerry rigged job with that broken spot. I did uh, a liberal amounts of super glue. <laughs> I don't expect it to be super strong. I just want it to hold well enough, you know, just to hold that screw weight and everything. Um, uh, thank the goodness nail polish remover works well on removing that blue Loctite. So anyways, guys, let me get this back together. All right, guys, there we have it. It's installed. It looks pretty good. Don't mind the dirty title. Just covering up the license plate. But uh, I wired her up to that side spot and there's the three lights in the middle. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this little uh, grill install, if you will, and uh, let me know what you think.
Thanks for watching.